Hello, this is HG Bailey, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Lunar! Let's take a look at my party here. Got everyone up to level 50. We're all recharged to full. I've got silver lights on everyone stacked there. I've got my setup as I have listed in the video description there, and I'll talk more about that later. Hmm. At last, the hour is at hand to correct the error of Althena from 15 years ago. I shall do everything within my power to assist you, my lord. Behold. Well, we seem to be doing a pretty good job of that so far. She wasn't rotting, she was young. She was hot. She was young. Well, we are your children. If you're so powerful, why are you taking orders from him? Heck, how are you susceptible to his magic? But anyway. I'll talk more about my equipment setup when we get into the battle here. It's going to be a long fight, Vera, so we'll have plenty of time to talk there. Time. Just going through this a little quickly here. Well, yeah, that was probably true. I don't want your kind of salvation. Is this supposed to hypnotize me? Or is it just supposed to give me a headache? Mm, yeah, probably. Well, who's going to be in charge, her or you? Well, to take over the world, obviously. Well, yeah, that is true. Alex really hasn't done much as a leader other than being the Dragon Master. Or something like that. I reject your reality and substitute my own. happening exactly as before. Well, not exactly. You know what I mean. Nuts. Well, how are you going to rule the world like that? There will be no one left for you to rule. There will be no one left to worship you. Yeah, enough trash talking. And when did you become a nut bar? Her powers? Oh, well, yeah, I suppose she did kind of create magic and all that. Uh, I'd have to disagree with you there, Mia. I don't think Galleon is human. And he's got all the pointy ears and everything like that. So, I don't know. Yeah. So? What does the world need? Boss time? Well, we'll guide ourselves. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You are kind of destroying the world there, Galleon. <laughs> what utter nonsense. 
Perhaps you should demonstrate the power that gives you such confidence. Then we will see who is fit to be supreme ruler and who is dead. Those that underestimate the power of the human spirit are destined to fail. And that means you, Galleon. For final boss time against Galleon himself, or Magic Emperor. So, okay, first things first, obviously, buff up there. Um, I want to spread out my party members here a little bit, so we might as well do that now. Let's uh, power up Alex there. And let's see, get a good power up going on yourself there. And some additional HP regeneration from Jessica there. You want everyone to have some sort of HP regeneration for this battle if you can. Now, one of the interesting things about this boss fight is you gotta kind of pay attention. You gotta kind of pay attention to Galleon's stance to see what he's going to do. So that way you can be ready for it. Fortunately, he's not nearly as fast as he was the last time we fought him in this form. And he's not constantly going to use Hellwave on us. Now, if your HP has gotten below like about 120, 130 or so, you want to use Alex's Blue Dragon spell because uh, there's just no way uh, Jessica's healing is going to be enough for that. Let's uh, power up Kyle there and attack. And since Alex is doing the healing, let's try and spread out Jessica Check there. This out. He's going to have some... Uh, Galleon. He's going to have some AoE, so you want to try and spread out a little bit if you can here. So, let's just get that going there. Yeah, the dragon spells, that's why I've got Alex on the uh, Hell Ring there, because he's got the most expensive spells that we're going to need for this battle. It also depends on what... Uh, what Galleon's stance is uh, de will determine what dragon spells I want to use with Time Alex there. Die. Like, I saw he was going to use uh, another AoE Time with his stance die. there, so I wanted to watch out for that. Unfortunately, there's not much I could have done about that, so, oh well. Uh, let's see here, let's... Mm, do I heal? I think we're in pretty good shape. So... Um, Okay, let's do that. Now, you see how his hand is glowing green? That means he's going to use an AoE there. So we want to stay out of his way. For, try and spread out your party members. If you have not done so, by the time you see his hand glowing green, that means spread out. Spread out as much as you can. Watch out for his AoEs. Obviously, revive Mia there. I almost said Luna, but no, it's the wrong blue-haired chick. But anyway... Yeah, go all out there. Hopefully he won't hit more than two party members. Time to die. I hope you like hearing time to die time over to die. and over and over again, viewers, because you're going to be hearing that for a long time. This boss fight, well, is long. It's going to take a while. But yeah, we're going to need to use the blue dra or no, the white dragon spell. Okay, so now, you see how... Well, it's kind of hard to see, but he's got like a purple ball of energy in his hand, or something or other like that. Uh, that means he's going to use his instant death spell on Check you. So you want to have Alex use the white dragon spell to protect against that. That's the only way you're going to protect against it. It's guaranteed instant death without that spell. So let's use dragon protect there. There we go. So yeah, the two main attacks you really want to watch out for with Galleon are when you see him holding that purple orb there, or whatever. Because that means he's going to use Fate Storm. That's instant death. But Dragon Protect blocks. Yeah, the other attack is when you see his hand glowing green. That means spread out your party members. Uh, other than that, you can pretty much go all out for the rest of the time. So... Let's uh, have Mia use Flame Bomb there now. And a little bit of healing Check from Jessica. There. Now, you see that uh, shield that he's got in there now. Uh, basically, that'll block, a, I think it's a certain amount of damage. Uh, the only source that I saw that listed a number said it was 750. 
But I don't think that's right. I think it's more like a thousand damage or something. It blocks the next however much damage you deal to him. Time to so once you deal enough damage, it breaks down the shield, and then you can move on. That's one of the less deadly things that he can do. Time to die. Okay, the only other thing you really gotta watch out for, like I said, is your HP. If it gets below 130 or so, then you wanna have Alex use the Blue Dragon's healing spell. Otherwise, Jessica can pretty much handle the healing you need. And because of his lightsaber attack thing, whatever, it might be a good idea to get some uh, buffing going with that, too. So let's use the uh, armor there. Alina, lend me your power! Is it really a good idea to be worshipping Alfina when she's threatening to kill you? I don't know. Maybe that's just me? Okay, so we're... Oh, yeah, this is another move that he can do. I think we've seen almost all of his attacks by now. Most of them, anyway. Well, there's a follow-up to this one. Don't hit Alex. Don't hit Alex. Don't hit Alex. Thank you. If he hits Alex with that, it hits everyone. So, uh, we're still doing pretty good. I don't think we need to spread out just yet. Yeah, I, pretty much I'm going to wait until he, his out. hand starts glowing green again. Because uh, then he's going to use that uh, Hell Wave. So you want to spread out for that so he can't hit more than two party members. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you might be able to get it down to one party member that he hits with that. But yeah, you don't want to keep your party members bunched up like that. But he might use that Tornado move again. So you might as well wait until he's going to use that. That'll hit everyone no matter what you do. So. Oh wow. Time to die. For you. Hey, Time see how that deals uh, less damage now? Uh, Mia could probably survive two hits of that nowadays. And that HP regeneration really helps out a lot. Uh, yeah, I think Mia should be okay now. She should, I mean, okay, she's one Check HP under out. 130. Whatever. Now, uh, as far as my equipment setup goes, Althena, lend me your uh, let's see, uh, Alex is pretty much the same as before. Got the Hell Ring, the Dragon Ring, Dragon Master equipment. Pretty standard stuff there. Uh, Nash, uh, yeah, he's pretty much the same as before as well. Crystal Pendant heal ring, Healing Ring for some HP regeneration. Feel a little extra damage there. Uh, Mia, I've actually got on the Dragon King this time because now, this boss fight is going to take so long that I really don't care about the agility boost from the Wind King. So, really, um, and Mia is going to be contributing a lot to the offense. So, now, you see his uh, hand is glow He's got that glowing purple ball, so you want to use the White Dragon spell now. So always keep on top of that. Check this out. But yeah, like I was saying, with uh, Dragon King, really good on Mia to boost her damage. Because sooner or later, she's going to finish buffing, and she will have plenty of time to contribute to the damage for the battle. Uh, that's why I also gave her the Crystal Pendant and the Healing Ring. You don't need any status protection for this battle, so we're good on that front. Uh, let's see, Kyle's pretty much the same as before. All the insane equipment, Healing Ring, Gale Ring, pretty good there. Uh, Jessica... All her equipment's pretty much the same as before. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Spirit Talisman. I got the Angel Ring on her just because I can't really think of anything better to give her. Time to die. Besides, I mean, who knows? Galleon might use that uh, Holy Dragon Sword thing on Jessica again. So, or twice on Jessica. I would think she could still survive even without Ice Shell, but... You never know. I mean, maybe a critical hit. Uh, who knows? So, good thing he doesn't have that shield on himself the whole time. This fight would take forever like that. Well, we don't really need any Check healing this. now, so let's uh, have Jessica spread out there. Just in case. You, you never know. Uh, there's really no point in having Jessica attack. She's going to deal, like, one damage to him. 
So, I suppose I could have changed my formation around. I thought about doing that. Put Jessica in the back row, since she's not really contributing to the offense at all. But I figured Galleon really doesn't have Time to melee die. attacks. And yeah, he hits you with that sword, but he can teleport anyway. So it's like he's got teleport 2 going for him. So it's like, what am I going to do? So I figured, eh, screw it. Why bother changing my formation with Jessica there? Now you notice our MP is starting to get a little low there, so we want to keep an eye on it. Check this out. I'd probably rather have Mia or Nash use the silver lights that we got. See, this is why I've been saving them this whole time. We need them for the final battle. But yeah, Mia and Nash really aren't contributing that much on the offense. So, I see no reason why we can't. Or, why they can't sacrifice a turn to use a silver light whenever we need it. Time to die. Time to die. Well, you're not really exactly threatening me with uh, that amount of damage there, uh, Galleon. Uh, yeah, let's just keep on going on that. We're fine. Well, do I need the healing? Nah. Yeah, we'll be. Check this out. I was thinking about using the blue dragon spell for Kyle there, but uh, I think we should be fine. I hope we'll be fine. We better be. But anyway, yeah, now that we've got Ice Shell on everyone, uh, we should be fine here. See how Kyle's doing on damage there. Yeah, he's doing fine. Someone was telling me, Itchy Bailey, do you think... Or, well, someone was asking me, Itchy Bailey, do your buffs de uh, degrade over time like some other RPGs? And I'm pretty sure the answer is no. Uh, someone was saying they noticed that I was dealing a little, da a little less damage earlier in one of my earlier battles, like over the course of the battle after I buffed up, it seemed like I was dealing less damage. Um, but I mean, uh, oh yeah, we want to spread out here. But yeah, I haven't really noticed that, so, uh, but anyway, yeah, have Alex use the, uh, dragon healing spell there, and have everyone spread out. See his hands going green, that means he's going to use that hell wave attack again. So, spread out. Move out! Time to die. Yeah, even though that looks like it hits multiple party members, it didn't. So, we're, we're in good shape here. If only there were a spell that would increase our magic defense, but sadly, no such spell exists. Seriously, there is no such spell. The only thing you could use is Dragon Protect, which I think I should use about now. That would be a good idea. Uh, now, Alex is going to start running out of MP here, so we want to make sure that he, well, never actually runs out of MP. And plus, Mia's going to take her turn after Alex this there. So. That's a huge cane you got there, Mia. It's almost as big as your head Athena, there. Lend me your power. But, uh, heal up there. Yeah, you absolutely want to use that Dragon Protect. You cannot afford to have uh, Jessica get killed there. I mean, I suppose you could have used those... What are those reviving items called? I forget. I never used them. Uh, I suppose you could use the Phoenix Down type item of the game. Whatever it's called. But I'd rather not waste the time. Or the inventory space, for that matter. But anyway. Okay, not really worried about his attacks. Let's just keep on going all out. Yeah, Flame Bomb. Gotta bring down the shield. Anyone know the codes? No? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, punch our way through this one. Yeah, you might as well have Jessica defend. So that way, if he uses his lightsaber on her, uh, she'll, she'll take less damage. I mean, if you don't need any healing, that is, obviously. Time to die. Time yeah, now this is die. much more survivable. Are you going after the mages now, are you? I know we're not taking too much damage here, but, uh, see, we're already spread out, so we're in pretty good shape there. 
Uh, let's just heal up a little. Check go. this out. Gotta watch out for uh, Nash and Kyle's MP there. Alfina, lend me your power. I'd probably just have Nash restore his own MP. But, uh, yeah, I'm not extraordinarily worried about that. But Kyle, I might want to try and heal his MP in advance. Whenever I feel like it. Time to die. Still had a shield left over there. Nice. Too bad there's no way to protect against uh, this spell. I mean, like a like an elemental item or something like that. Like the ice pendant or whatever there. But, oh. Uh, just so you know, viewers, uh, this is going to be a four-part finale. Long final boss fight, even as it is. We still got a little ways to go. I think. And, uh, yeah, the ending's not short. So we got a lot of stuff to go through. So I'll upload, uh, both parts. Well, two parts today, two parts tomorrow. Uh, no side LP episode tomorrow. Sorry, viewers. But, uh, well, it'll be worth it. I didn't to do too much. Die. I wonder what's protecting Mia from those from the wind spell there. She seems to have a little bit of elemental protection, even without any accessories. But anyway, let's uh, yeah, restore your own MP there. I think Kyle's still doing okay, but uh, let me see. Yeah, only six MP. We'll be fine there. But uh, yeah, we should heal up Jessica's MP there because she's gonna. Be out of MP after this round. I like how they changed Alex's yell once he became a Dragon Master. It's a nice touch. Just swing your sword and uh, charge right in like a madman there, Alex. Time to die. You gotta have the good yell. You gotta make me believe. Time to die. I keep on turning off the uh, spell name tags there. Ow! Yeah. I think we're gonna need that, uh. uh oh, yeah, we need the uh, white dragon protection. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say we need the blue dragon spell, but no! Check this out. Now we need to, uh. protect against that instant Alfina, death there. Lend me your power! So that always takes priority. My shield's better than your shield. My shield's better than yours. And how does he get instant death and we don't? How fair is that? Oh, right, we do have instant death, don't we? Well, it doesn't work against him, though. And all we got is that blue or black dragon spell that I only used once. Oh, wow. Time to die. Oh, and, uh,. For those who are wondering, yes, I will be showing the uh, Sega CD version of the final battle uh, when we get to that. Uh, obviously not today, not tomorrow, but eventually I'll get around to it. So, uh, let's, uh, yeah, why don't we spread out there as long Check as we don't need to heal. Out. Yeah, I've got a lot of bonus episodes planned for uh, this LP, but, uh, well, I'll worry about that when we get to it. I'll talk more about that later. Right now, we're in the midst of saving the world! Time to oh! Die. I should have uh, used a silver light on uh, Kyle there. Well, nuts to that. To die. Ow. Quit it. Okay. Uh, yeah, we might want to uh, spread out here. Yeah, I told you this was going to be a long one, viewers. Yeah, get out of the way, get out of the way. There you go. Maybe, uh, heal up Kyle's MP while he's scrambling. There you go. Alright, there we go. Hey, hey, alright! Got him! Go, Alex! 